SwiftUI is a really fantastic framework for building apps, but right now it's far from complete. There are many things it just can't do, so you have to learn to talk to UIKit if you want to add more advanced functionality. Sometimes, this will be to integrate existing code you wrote for UIKit. For example, if you work for a company with an existing UIKit app. But other times, it'll be because UIKit and Apple's other frameworks provide us with useful code we want to show inside a Swift UI layout. In this project, we're going to ask users to import a picture from their photo library. UIKit comes with dedicated code for doing just this, but that hasn't been ported to Swift UI, and so we have to write that bridge ourselves. Before we write the code, there are three things you have to know, all of which are a bit like UIKit 101, but if you've only used Swift UI, they'll be new to you. First, UIKit has a class called UIView, which is a parent class of all views in the layouts. So labels, buttons, text fields, sliders, and so on, those are all views. Second, UIKit has a class called UIViewController, which is designed to hold all the code to bring views to life. Just like UIView, UIViewController has many subclasses that do different kinds of work. Third, UIKit uses a design pattern called delegation to decide where work happens. So when it came to deciding how our code should respond to a text field's value changing, we create a custom class with our functionality and make that the delegate of our text field. SwiftUI makes us structure our code very differently, not least that we mostly use structs for views rather than classes. However, SwiftUI kind of blends UIView and UIViewController into a single view protocol, which makes our code much simpler. Anyway, all this matters because UIKit's system of asking the user to select a photo from their library uses a view controller called UI Image Picker Controller, and delegate protocols called UI Navigation Controller Delegate and UI Image Picker Controller Delegate. SwiftUI can't use these two directly, so we have to wrap them. We're going to start simple and work our way up. Wrapping a UI Kit View Controller requires us to create a struct that conforms to a protocol called UI View Controller Representable. This builds on view, which means the struct we're defining can be used inside a SwiftUI view hierarchy. However, we don't provide a body property because the view's body is the view controller itself. It just shows whatever UI kit sent back. Conforming to UI view controller representable does require us to implement two methods. One called make UI view controller, which is responsible for creating the initial view controller, and another called update UI view controller, which is designed to let us update the view controller when some Swift UI state changes. These methods have really precise signatures, so I'm going to show you a neat shortcut. The reason the methods are long is because SwiftUI needs to know what type of view controller our struct is wrapping. So, if we just straight up tell Swift that type, Xcode will help us do the rest. Press Command then to make a new file, choose Swift file, and name it imagepicker.swift. Add import SwiftUI to the top of the new file, then give it this code. Struct image picker conforms to UI view controller representable. Type alias UI view controller type equals UI image picker controller. That isn't enough code to compile correctly, but when Xcode shows an error saying type image picker does not conform to protocol UI view controller representable, please click the red and white circle to the left of the error and select fix. This will make Xcode write the two methods we actually need. And in fact, those methods are actually enough for Swift to figure out the view controller type. So you can delete the type alias line. So you should now have a struct like this. We aren't going to be using update UI view controller. So you can just delete the code line from there so the method's empty. However, the make UI view controller method is important. So please replace this existing code line with this. Let picker equals UI image picker controller return picker. We'll add some more code to that shortly, but that's actually all we need to wrap a basic view controller. Our image picker struct is a valid Swift UI view, which means we can now show it in a sheet just like any other Swift UI view. This particular struct is designed to show an image, so we need an optional image view to hold the selected image, plus some state to determine whether the sheet is showing or not. Replace your current content view struct with this. At state, private var, image, optional image, at state, private var showing image picker equals false. Then in the body, we'll do vstack image question mark dot resizable dot scale to fit. Then button select image. 
self dot showing image picker equals true and dot sheet is presented dollar showing image picker and image picker. Go ahead and run that either in the simulator or on your real device. When you tap the button, the default UI kit image picker should slide up, letting you browse through all your photos. And when you select one, it'll disappear. However, no image will appear in our view, despite us just having selected one. You see, even though we place a Swift UI image into our view, nowhere do we assign to it the selection from our UI image picker controller. To make that happen requires a wholly new concept coordinators.